Today I'm going to show you how to play Atari 7800 games on your Wii U for free. Now all you need for this tutorial is a homebrewed Wii U with the virtual Wii homebrewed as well, and a computer to get the files. And that's it. What this tutorial is going to include is how to get the emulator up and running to play games, and how to get the Wii 7800 channel on your virtual Wii menu. What this won't include is how to get the games, I can't show you that, and how to get the Wii U menu channel as well. That's going to be a separate video in the future. So make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for that video in the future. So anyways, let's get right into it. I'll have a few links down below, but the first one will take you to this Wii Brew page for Wii 7800. Now this will tell you everything you need to know about it from ROM compatibility, the controllers that you can use. So if you want to read more about it, just check this page out. But on the right side, just click the download link and it should download in the bottom left as a zip file. And that's all we need for the emulator, but we're gonna get what we need for getting the channel as well. So if you don't already have a WAD manager, click the link below to take you to this Google Code Archive page for YAM, and then just click the third link down here and it'll download in the bottom left. Now this other WAD managers work as well, but this is the one I usually use. So once you have that, we're gonna get the actual WAD. So go to the next link in the description. It should take you to this Mediafire page. And if it doesn't automatically download when you click on it, like it just did there, just click download right here. But once you have all of those files, let's pull up our SD card that we used to mod our Wii U. Here's what mine looks like. And then we're gonna open up the Wii 7800 zip file. And it should look like this with apps and Wii 7800. Just highlight both of those and drag it onto the root of your SD card. Once that's done, close the zip file and then open up your YAM zip file. Now, again, this is if you have a different WAD manager, you can use that one, but this is for anyone who hasn't installed WAD before. So double click on YAM and then drag this apps folder onto the root of your SD card. I already have this app, so I'm just going to replace the files in the destination. Close my WinRAR file and open up the WAD for Atari 7800. VWi. So again, this is for Wii U, so it's for your virtual Wii. So I made sure to get the proper download, but it's always good to double check before you do this for installing WADs. But if you double click on this, it'll give you two different options here. I'm not sure which is which. Editor Scott here, I found out that the second one does not work for me. Now in the video I transfer both, but I suggest just transferring the top wad onto your SD card, as that's the one that works. On the root of your SD card, you should have a wad folder, and if you don't already, just go ahead and create one, but I have one right here, so I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to highlight both of these, and then drag them both in there. And once you have those in there, you can close the zip file. So once you drag all of those files on, here's what it should look like. On the root of your SD card, you should have Wii 7800, and you should have ROM, saves, and these files here. And then on the root as well, in your apps folder, you should see Wii 7800 with these files here. And then you should have WAD Manager right here with these files. So once you make sure you have those files, we're gonna add our game backups. Now I can't show you where to get games, but I have a few backed up that I'm gonna place on my SD card. So I'm gonna go into Wii 7800, go into your ROMs folder, and here just drag the backups that you have and place them in that folder. And they should be a .a78 file. If you have those, we are totally set to head over to the Wii U. I'm gonna meet you on my virtual Wii. I'll see you there. And an important thing to know is that some games aren't compatible, so I will link this compatibility list here down below. Um, most of them are playable, some have minor bugs, but uh, say 32 and 1, it doesn't work for some reason. But uh, here you can check out which games are compatible. It looks like there's a pretty good list of things that work. But anyways, that's good to know if you run into any issues, you should uh, double check by picking a game that for sure works to make sure that you've done everything right. All right, once you made it over to your virtual Wii on your Wii U, just head into the homebrew channel. And once your apps load, we're looking for the emulator Wii 7800. Also, did you know, you can actually pop these homebrew bubbles. But anyways, uh, back to the video. Open up your Wii 7800 emulator, and we're just gonna make sure it works, and then we'll get the channel installed after. Now we know it works, so we're gonna hit the home button and head back to the homebrew channel, and we're gonna get the virtual Wii channel installed first. So once you're back with your apps, 
go ahead and find yet another wad manager or whichever wad manager that you use and load it up and you should know once you get to this page uh, your Wiimotes with Wiimotion Plus inside will not work some of them maybe so you could try but mine don't I've tried multiple different ones but you need to use an original Wii remote not a third party one either because those don't really work but once you're here just click A on iOS 249 click A on disable and then click A on Wii SD slot that's where our wads are and you should see here's our two Atari 7800 wads so I'm just gonna do this first one so press A and then here you can select install or uninstall so if you wanted to change it but just click A on install and it should begin installing it should be pretty quick as these are not too big so press A when it's done and then press the home button and it should exit back to the homebrew channel <coughs> Press the home button again and let's go back to the system menu and check out our new channel. All right, we're back and here we go, the Atari 7800 channel on your VW menu. Let's uh, open it up and make sure it works. So once you get to here, it should look like this. We're just gonna click A on load cartridge and our ROMs are on our SD card, so select SD card. And then here we're going to navigate to where our ROMs folder is. So head all the way down to until you see Wii, Wii 7800 right there. Click A and then go into your ROMs folder. Now here, there's your ROMs. So I think once you do this once, it should automatically go to this folder in the future. And then you can just press A and uh, load up a game. <laughs> this is actually really hard. But anyways, that's how you play your games on Wii 7800. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please leave a like, it really helps me out. And if you ran into any issues, go ahead and comment below and I'll try to help you out when I can. Or you can join my Discord server where you can get help there as well. And a reminder, if you want to get the Wii 7800 Wii U channel, subscribe and keep an eye out for that video in the future. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.